Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group G final game between Nuru and his undead and DIVSP with his Skaven. Uh, Nuru won the toss, chose to kick. Both teams look fantastic I think with their colours, very good and the design on these undead, lovely. Both have halfling cheerleaders, so that's great, great stuff from both coaches in that regard. Um, however, on the pitch, there's been a stark contrast. Nuru has won both of his games. Diaby has lost both of his. So uh, this might have an impact on the groups because it's possible. It is possible that like Matabolitos or Rio Bravo like wins 3-0 or something, right? And then would score more than Nuru if Nuru loses without scoring. Um, so, you know, it's possible for one of them to do something, but realistically... If Nuru gets a draw, he's qualified. Uh, sorry, yeah, I mean, sorry, he's, Nuru is qualified. If he gets a draw, he wins the group, guaranteed. And, you know, he's got a good chance of winning the group anyway, to be honest, even if he loses. But, I mean, I guess he'll be battling for the draw, at least. Um, he won the toss, chose to kick, because it's in the rain, and he's against uh, Skaven, so that makes a sense, doesn't it? Lots of sense. Three guards, uh, a tackler, a blocker, and a wrestler. Pretty standard. And the rats are a bit a bit weird in that they've benched their their, jug, their juggernaut rat ogre here. And also he hasn't taken leader on the thrower. And he's got 13 players plus apple, so he's only got two rerolls. Very light on rerolls. I think the play was to give up the skill on the second blitzer and keep leader. I think that's what the uh, Skaven teams should have done. But right, let's get into it. No, oh, changing weather. Fantastic. Oh, go straight for the pickup and gets it. And then we dacker. Dackering does seem quite effective versus undead, right? The problem that you've got against undead is mummies smashing smashing you to pieces with mighty blow every turn so if you dacker they can't hit anything for like multiple turns pretty nice oh but snake eyesing your dodge away guarantees that you're going to get fouled on this on this gutter runner which is a bit of a shame isn't it Maybe he's not going to. Maybe he's going to keep 11 players to stop the defense. Maybe he's not going to foul him. Surely he'll foul him. Imagine not fouling a gutter runner. He hasn't moved this center zombie yet. So, yeah, maybe. Maybe this zombie is going to foul. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yep, yeah, okay, he's definitely getting fouled. <laughs> yeah, maybe, honestly, maybe DIV should have put, like, a... Just a rookie line rat on the LOS, right? And then if it fails, it fails. At least it's not uh, a 1 in 36 of a gutter. But to be fair, he, <laughs> he didn't die from the fouls, and now he can 4-2 away. Though there is a tackler there. There was, there was actually a strong argument for like blitzing with a line run right so 1d and then 3 plus you chain him and like you obviously might even power the white and that gets him out on a 2 gets the 4 though fantastic and it's still faster than <laughs> still faster than the undead <laughs> Yeah, this is the problem that the undead have against the Dacker, isn't it? They're just so slow. It stops them getting the un you know, getting the mummies in, getting the hits in. I'll put the uh, I'll put the skill rings on, so not skill rings, positional rings. I don't think this got a rush, did it? One, two, three, four, five, six. It probably should have rushed once, maybe even twice, to stop the white hitting it. 
Three dice hits it. He's fine. <laughs> There's a bit of a gaping hole here. Is this trap space? Um, like, no is my answer. I would blitz this mummy and uh, be quite happy. Daka with rats is risky, but the problem with rats is so is a normal offense, right? Like, this is the thing. I, you know, like, the Daka is basically fine because they've got four really good players for Dakaring. And they've got a really, really bad normal offense, right? It's stalling till turn. Like, they've got a great offense for scoring on any turn, but they've got a really bad offense for scoring on turn eight, precisely. Um,. So I think I think they're actually a really good team to Daka with. Um, but I mean I would have absolutely just gone to one side. So I, what I what I hate here is um, He's getting squeezed by both mummies, right? He could have just blitzed this mummy, he could have put in two assist three assists, blitzed the mummy, and then just gone away from this mummy and all these guys and the tackle and everything, right? He's it's he's screaming at you to go up this side and i would have just i would have just gone up this side quite happily to be honest but instead we've, we've jammed in the middle super hard which you know he, he, maybe he'll get clamped down a little bit who knows may, i mean it makes the mummy an instant problem doesn't it <laughs> to taunt the rogue yeah yeah, the rogue is just looking at him going, I wish I could I wish I could have surfed you. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about not fielding the roger, honestly. Like I hate the roger. Um but having frenzy does open up the sideline for the Dakar, doesn't it? So it is actually a pretty strong breakthrough player for the Dakar. The, uh, Yeah, this problem the problem is he's you know, he's clamped he's completely clamped down now, isn't he? Well, I say completely. Pretty completely. Doesn't have a good runner near the thrower, so he can't just hand it off. Which means he has to deal with this mummy. Okay, he's not gonna deal with the mummy. Is he gonna throw it in a tackle zone? Oh, he interfered with it! Oh, what the hell happened there? What on earth happened there? <laughs> pass action. It was fumbled. He used the pass skill. It was accurate. Then the mummy interfered with it on a six. Didn't intercept it. And then he deflected it back to the... <laughs> back to the... Thrower who failed the catch. And then it's scattered. That is hilarious, isn't it? That is that is pretty hilarious. <laughs> he threw it at this, he knocked it out of his hand, back at him, and he nearly caught it. Yeah, this was this was a lot of dice. I I would have liked um you know, just staying away from this mummy, right? So you're not squeezed in both sides. It makes it really hard. Could have gone to like you know try to come run through, through these ghouls or whatever. Um, yeah, I didn't like the solve by Div. Yeah, the second dodge seems better. Yeah, the problem is he's only got two rerolls, right? So like if you've got four rerolls, like uh, one of the other Skaven teams that we just saw, can't remember which one it was. Um, if you've got four rerolls, then the, the dodge looks great, doesn't it? But yeah, yeah, being stuck in the middle is like that was the big one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought this came from the previous turn. Um, so while it was not, yeah, not a great plan to salvage it, it was, uh, the problem came from being stuck in the middle in the first place. And now they're really pushing in, both mummies super relevant. Surrounded the ball, got tackle on the ball. 
yeah, this looks like an instant disaster for DIV. I mean, you want to scatter the ball somehow, but... Also, right, so it's that block and that assist, and then he can wrestle Blitz to get the scatter. But this is using three gutters to do so. And he doesn't get the power, uses his last reroll. Oh, God. Oh, God, what a disaster. And then one Ds and skulls. Oh, dear. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I mean, he could have got it if he'd got the push, but, yeah, the two rerolls is not enough, I think. I think so, yeah, the first mistake came at the team creation. Honestly, two rerolls, not enough. Um, I like the four rerolls. I think Sol even had five rerolls. It is great to see rats fail sometimes, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is, honestly. No offence to D.I.V. Um, but yeah, it's great to see rats fail. Oh, wonderful. What a wonderful life. <laughs> Do you just score here? That's like probably the safest thing, right? Versus gutter runners. Oh no, he's, he's further away than I realised from the end zone. <laughs> he's much further than I realised from the end zone. So he's not scoring here. He's just going to pick it up on the tackler. Have all of his eggs in one. Oh no, he's got a ghoul here. Okay, yeah, pick it up on the ghoul and obviously you don't want to have all of your eggs. Oh, he could hand it off. He could hand it off. No, he didn't. He didn't declare it. Oh. He could have handed it off for the score. Oh, fails the dodge in. Uh, guess who's getting kicked in the head? Shouldn't be. <laughs> Should be. Uh, shouldn't be too hard to guess. And is he going to venga bust this? It seems. There's no need to Venga Buzz it around because you just need to uh, wall off the stripper. Well, you can't even wall off the stripper. Maybe you can with a pow. Yeah, yeah, you can wall off the stripper now. No, Irati. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, here we go. And then foul. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. Well, what a great stomp. Didn't apo it, so he gets a zombie as well. Fouar. And now, oh my god, what a nightmare drive. What an absolute nightmare. <laughs> Maybe this is over, yeah, yeah. Nuru just needed a draw as well, and it looks like he's going to end the Skaven half 1 0 up, so. Yeah. I also didn't kind of realise the turn time either. It took so long for him to like gain control of it. But yeah, it was... wow. Just run away now, rats! <laughs> run away, rats! Run away! Yeah, dead gutters do. Yeah, it's it's stunties. And strength fives that don't. Because, like, humans would make zombies, right? Human catchers. Like, humans are fine. But, like, strength five is, like, unhuman, usually. That's leaving a sinking dry. It is so honestly I've got so much I've got so much hatred for rats that <laughs> it is nice to see. <laughs> I, I, I guess they're just so much BS, aren't they? As much as people say elf BS, like Skaven BS seems so much worse to me. I guess because they're movement nine, aren't they? And they it's really like movement nine is really good. And also, they just beat you in all facets of the game, don't they? Like, 
they, they beat you, like they can foul you out, they could claw upon you in the old rules. So they could just easily outbash you crazily. They've got the best one turn, they've still got the best one turn, but obviously they had like natties. And then um, they uh, do the best off a of blitz because they've got movement nine, four clip movement nine. They did the best with a, with a uh, fireball or a lightning bolt because they had two, four guys with movement nine. And they had like big hand and two heads and all this kind of stuff there. Oh man, they're just so like. They're so kind of like ridiculously broken. <laughs> like, I, I said they were like the most overpowered team in Blood Bowl 2, and it, it didn't mean they like had the highest win rate or whatever, but like they just did the most broken things, right? They did everything. They did Corp on them, and Natties, and Wizards, and stuff. Like, all of the kind of the most broken things, they just had it all, didn't they? Or benefited the most from all of those things. Well, elves don't outbash you as easily, right? Elves don't outbash you as easily. Elves don't have strength access. Whereas these got rattled. The rattled can just randomly tee off and, like, has a bunch of players. So can the blitzers. They can foul because they've got more players. Yeah. Yeah, I am Santa from Exeter. Of course. It, it's a bit different, isn't it, with the online players? Yeah, the online players missed Blood Bowl. Well, not the online. The cyanide online players missed Blood Bowl 2016. Wood Elves, unless you're all like Olivier Dulac in his last game, don't have the same as Skaven. No, they don't generally have... I mean, obviously, these days, they will try and get a sneaky get dirty player, but they generally won't have as deep a bench. They won't have as many dirty players. And it's a big difference having a tree that's moving two that roots that you can walk away from than having a bloody rat ogre that runs around and punches you with frenzy and two blitzers that can have claw and stuff. I mean, it's a complete worlds away in how much damage. Uh, the damage output of rats is far ahead of the elves. <laughs> and, and what PC said as well. <laughs> Do you know what? It, it's annoying that he's got the sidestep there. He couldn't even serve him, could he? That was that was good sidestepping from the rats. the strip. Oh, dead. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> uh, do you dodge in for a, an uphill wrestle? No. I mean, you, like, the thing is that the game doesn't matter to the Ivy, right? The game literally doesn't matter. The result doesn't matter to him whatsoever. The result does matter to Nuru. He's got one already. He's so likely to get a draw that, you know. Yeah, the strip is a zombie on the undead team. I don't know if he's be if he's fielded. Guess you can't tell. Maybe it's this one. Warp fire. Uh, maybe he's not playing. Oh, you can just see his name there. Yeah, it is warp fire. Yeah, so he's not even playing. I always put my opponent zombies on the field when I raise them to taunt them. I think that's a good idea.
Rogue Blitz. Nobody next to him. At least he doesn't kill one of your own players. Both down. Not the best dice from uh, D. Ivy. And there's absolute nothing in the way of Nuru here. You're all bowel. <laughs> that is definitely the right name for it, PC. Yep. Yep. In his heart, he's an elf coach. On the pitch, basically never. <laughs> And I know he plays Dark Elves on tabletop and vampires sometimes. But if you can't call PC a dwarf coach, what can you do, honestly? You can call me Susan if it makes you happy. That was uh, that was lock stock, wasn't it? <laughs> Look at this safe moves first from Nuru. What is this? What is this sorcery? Safe moves first. I mean, not that safe, obviously, because he's using the cage corner. This is a quad, well, not a quad skull, a hexa skull. <laughs> then he's in danger. But mostly safe moves first. He did leave himself wide open to a 1 in 46,000 chance. <laughs> Was it Snatch? Uh, Oh yeah, Snatch was Bullet Tooth Tony. Wait, Snatch was Bullet Tooth Tony, wasn't it? Who was Lock? Who was he in Lock Stock? I I honestly don't even know the diff. Don't even know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think the undead might have this game. Yeah. <laughs> Was Lock stuck the the smashing the head in the in the card? I, honestly, there's so much that it's it's his son, isn't it? It's his son in Lock stock. Oh, I don't even know. I don't know the difference. He was essentially the same. Yeah, he was essentially the same in both of them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I know they're different movies, but for Vinnie Jones, not so much. <laughs> Yeah, 5.0, and he all says replica. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a can of beans. <laughs> and he has them to open it up. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, man, do you know what? I might watch Snatch and Lockstock. I might re-watch some great movies. I can't really remember Lockstock. That's the craziest thing. Oh, here we go. One turn. Gets the push. Gets the push. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not even his fault, is it? He just he just basically played the same character. It's not. A, it's not actually a slight on him, is it? It's just reality. He did what he was asked to do perfectly. He should dodge this gutter now, right? Should dodge this gutter out is what he should have done. Um, so that he could have got the extra push. Oh no, the gutter was going to do it, so he couldn't have done it then. Errata, errata. 
because he wanted to fill that these two squares he could have no he couldn't have filled anything right it disregard i was thinking he could have filled some extra squares but he couldn't got a rush does it scores there we go yeah yeah i mean for all we know Vinnie Jones could be able to play anything, but he's only really been asked to play hard then, hasn't he? He's just an actor. I will destroy him. <laughs> you, remember, you remember extras with... I was in the SAS. Vinnie Jones is just an actor. <laughs> Ross Kemp. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Ross Kemp and uh, Vinnie Jones in extras oh my god if you haven't seen if you haven't seen that and you could uh, you should watch that if you haven't seen extras with Vinnie Jones and Ross Kemp oh my god What I mean it's a great show anyway there's loads <laughs> special army soldiers <laughs> it's a great show there's loads of great episodes Syrian is a great one, <laughs> but also uh, my favourite one is is the Ross Kemp one. Holy moly, unbelievable! <laughs> yeah, it is PC. It is possible. It is possible that secretly Vinnie Jones could be an incredible actor, but he only ever gets asked to play generic hard man. I probably haven't, no, it doesn't ring a bell, Santa from Exit. Oh no, look at that, the most reliable pick guy in the game. Fails again. Are we just going to go through the middle here? Might as well, eh? There's a gaping pool. This is really nice, it's actually a really nice blitz, isn't it? Because he knocks him over and then he makes it a 3D as well. Okay. <laughs> he could have made it a 3D as well. <laughs> Will Jackson. Man, I really like making that a 3D more than I like making the other one a 2D. I don't really know why. Because this is probably just objectively better, right, to make that. But I was like, ooh, you can make that a 3D. I think I was going to use him as, like, the back end, right? For, for me, I was going to use this as the back end with this. And then, like, have a cage here somehow. I was surprised it not going forward so much. Oh no, poor Roger. Gets the dodge in, gets double skulls, and then pushes him back. Special army soldiers. <laughs> oh, so good. It's obviously pretty easy clears here. 3D him. 2D him. I mean, he could have 2D the other one and then 3D this. Would have been slightly... Slightly more optimized, but I don't think anyone really cares at this point. He gets a hands off a 3 1, doesn't he? Uh, Nuru here. Makes the catch. Makes the rush. That is definitely 100% Nuru going through in first place from Group G. I mean, it was almost guaranteed, but I mean, he really guaranteed it, didn't he?
Oh, a high kick. Let me go for this. And this, you could probably put the guard. Oh no, you can put the guard there. No, he, he gets the push up. This one him then we'll run up and hand it off. Makes the dodges. <laughs> and fails the one in the end. So no consolation, but you know he did some he did some one turns, so you know. Um but yeah. Yeah, I mean Camus races DIV, bottom of his group. Um Congratulations, Nuru. The uh, groups aren't updated yet, but that does take Nuru to three wins out of three. Dominant qualification for him with Undead. And the la final match will be very interesting. Mata Belitos versus Rio Bravo. If it's a draw, Mata Belitos will qualify. And then otherwise the winner will qualify. So yeah, all to play for in that game should be a banger but for this one yeah that's it congrats to Nuru. commiserations div thanks for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic